I feel like you started the last episode with a song. Maybe. <laughs> We're back. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry for last week's inconvenience. Our hiatus. We, uh, yeah, we are rebuilding the house right now and not to sound like I want to make an excuse because I don't, because I, you know, we, we were also to, just kind of lazy, but the, we the, tried to commit, yeah, in, not lazy overall, but just in terms of doing the podcast. I don't know why we did one last week. Yeah, because, because we had, time just kind of got away from us last week. We had, I feel Tuesday, like a lot we of different to see things. Top Gun. You yeah, Tuesday Wednesday, night we didn't have time. Wednesday, Andy was here and we drank a lot. <laughs> Wednesday last no no no. What did we do on Wednesday? I don't know what we did on Wednesday. I mean, I worked on Wednesday and then I got home around seven, and I feel like maybe we just didn't want to do it. And Thursday was a holiday. Oh, I was working first of the holiday. Thursday, yeah. And Weren't on, you working on Wednesday too? I was Monday. Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday I was working and Thursday and Friday the whole day at the uh, Baustelle. Mm -hmm. And Friday was already too now late. Now Wednesday anyways. you went to the thing at Hagenberg. Oh yeah, the Fafest. Yeah, that's true. To yeah. the party for with the students. And oh, yeah. then Thursday you were working all day and yeah. until yeah. the evening, basically. Until and, 9.30. Yeah. And then... It was Friday. Yeah. Yeah. We try to be committed. We try to, you know, we are not like recording so many episodes in advance. Simply As we because would like to. I mean, we would like to say that we like sit down and record two. two or three episodes yeah. Yeah. each time, but it's you not know. the case. But Basically, also wanted... when you hear the episode, it was recorded within two days before <laughs> this week at least but the good thing about that is so we talk about relevant things and things yeah. that happened this week or maybe the week before and yeah so we wing it basically but yep. yeah that's what you signed up for for subscribing and if you have not subscribed subscribe please and rate the podcast if you have not rate the podcast Rated the, podcast. rated the podcast on Spotify or Apple Podcast. Mm -hmm. On yeah. Apple, you can also write an actual review, which yeah. is kind of cool. Yeah. You can roast Danny a little bit. <laughs> or like, right. I really actually, like the host. No, no, no. But the co host I Danielle actually want to touch on that quickly because. It has now been proven to me that I am the main host because somebody just wrote us on Instagram uh, on <laughs> our on our hello I'm listening yeah that Instagram do, they wrote us and yeah. do you know what they said yeah. they said hello ma'am yeah and I was like okay that tells me they're talking to me yeah. meaning they're like yeah. I need to reach sure. out to the Whatever. main host sure. of this podcast yeah. mm -hmm. if they would have said hello sir. That's exactly how it proves. You know, Danielle, I go with ma'am all the time. You go by ma'am? All the time. I never want anybody to call me ma'am. I hate that. It makes me seem like an old, I got dried called, up woman. I get called ma'am every day. <laughs> every day. I mean, maybe when you were a kid with your really long hair. <laughs> <laughs> no, back then it was called curl. Girl. Curl. Curl. <laughs> <laughs> hey, stop it. We're going to it's fucking like Carl, record now. But curl. Curl. <laughs> it's a mixer between Carl and Kern. <laughs> curl. 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 So, the today's curl topic. Hey, pshht. Pshht. Today's topic is trust. But not in like a relationship sense, but more in a sense of, you know, we every day go to bed and trust or not even waste a second, most of us, that we wake up alive. I mean, <laughs> let's be honest. I if would... I would not wake up alive, I wouldn't even know yeah. because I'm dead. Yeah, but, that's not always the case for me, though. There are many nights where I go to sleep and I'm like, what if I don't wake up? <laughs> okay, but most most, but most nights and most, most of us nights. don't think about that. But 
but that's the same with getting in a car, getting into a plane, not the plane maybe, but getting into a car, getting into a bus, train, drinking something, eating something. Things that are like part of our daily lives, daily right. routines in the norm. Right. So there's this basic trust that we all just trust in. So we basically say, oh, I'm heading out for the day and getting on this bus and going to work and coming home at night. And it's and like second nature. Plans. You don't think right. about it anymore. You don't think about it. So, but my question is, what if you lose the trust in some areas of your life? And I think a lot of people struggle with that, especially like with anxiety where you question things, you have those thought cycles. What if this thing happens? What if something horrible happens? What if I, you know, get into a Mm-hmm. accident what if something say, happens to me what if i get sick yeah i would say you don't even need to go so far as saying i mean you can that's a good example uh, of anxiety but there's also like just losing overall losing trust in yourself in terms of like what if people don't like me that's something that i had a big problem with what are you doing I keep talking. <laughs> you're not talking into the microphone. You're talking like this. Hello, hello, hello. But you should talk like this. This is not a visual, so people can't see you. No, but you can hear it. Hi, I'm talking next to the microphone. I'm talking into the microphone. Is it really so different? Yeah. I wasn't talking like that. Oh, yeah, I yeah. was talking like that. <laughs> yeah. Um, anyways, but what I was saying is... It's much better. Yeah, but see, I want to look at you. That's why I talk into the side of the mic. You can say, look at me. You can yeah. turn like this. Yeah, I yeah. guess so. Okay. Um, but what I was saying is like, I think a lot of people have problems with feeling or obsessing over the fact that what if this person doesn't like me? Like I had that with my ex's mother. Mm-hmm. Isn't that I was, also a form of anxiety? You sure. No, sure. But, but it's, it's also, uh, I mean, it's like self, your self-confidence. You you stop trusting that you can be a confident person. Yeah. But then that's the same example, just in a different yeah. area. But I think it goes further than that. For example, like if you look at climate change, if you look at where the world's heading right now, if you look at war, uh, hunger, crisis, Creed, all that shit that we see if you just open the Mm -hmm. newspaper every day, you might ask yourself, is humanity doomed? Is there like, you know, spark of hope there somewhere? Is there a chance that we can, you know, uh, steer into a different direction? I mean... That's also anxiety. I mean, basically, any form of mistrust or or losing maybe, trust, maybe. I think, can all maybe. lead back to anxiety. Maybe, 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 yeah. But because that sure as hell gives me anxiety to think about. Sure, you know, it's a different kind of anxiety. Sure, where I'm not maybe dwelling on it as the much co- as I dwell on anxiety that has to do with me personally. I agree. I, I in. Yeah, in the in the grand scheme of things, if you if you break it down to the core or to the simplest explanation of what it is, then it's all the same. Mm-hmm. And in the end, there's always like this "what if" question, like "what if humanity can't change climate change and we are all doomed? What if I have an accident when I get into the car and drive to work today?" Mm-hmm. But my question is, or my idea for the podcast was to explore how can one regain trust into something that ultimately is not up to them to change or uh, influence in a grand or in like in a short term. You know what I mean? I can say I'm not getting to the car because I feel mm-hmm. like I have a bad feeling about it, or plane or ship or I'm not eating that cheese because it looks already or it smells weird and I don't want to, you know, I think stuff like that. I think there's a difference between 
a gut feeling and um, a fear-based reaction. Sure. So I think it's hard to differentiate those two. I mean, or differentiate what you're saying because maybe maybe if, a, if I maybe decide not to get into the car to go to work, that's fear-based. But it can be an anxiety where I, sure. I, my anxiety sure, sure, sure. is so bad. That no, I, no, no. I I agree with that, but that's that's based on fear. That's based on sure. fear of the unknown, fear of the what if I get into an accident. Whereas there is a gut feeling where you know I'm not gonna walk down this dark street alone because I have a gut feeling that that guy up there mm. something's not right with that person standing up there that I can't really see. That's a little but different that because it's be, situational. You can see something that you're like, mm. but that's what exactly what I mean. I think there's there are certain things we can change. Where, for example, if I'm sitting on a on a plane, mm -hmm. I can change the fact yeah. that it might get hit by a, a lightning. Yeah, or or a, a bird might fly into the right. What is so, it? The what are they turbine? Called? Yeah. Or with climate change, I mean, I can like everybody has this, takes this part, so you can you know stop using the car as much, or try to eat less meat, or try to you know don't travel with the plane as much. So those are small things that I can do. But in the grand scheme of things, I can't go to everybody and say, "Hey, we collectively need to do that." I can talk to people, I can sure. change their mind, or try to change their mind. But in the grand scheme of things, I would say influence. Influence. But in the grand scheme of things, I can't really change anything. I just have to hope and trust. And again, that's the key to, you know, see the good and see the good change and I hope mean you can... ultimately that we as a society can, you know, get finally, come finally together and get rid of those things or change those things. Yeah, but that's but... exactly the thing. The thing is, lately, I mean, it's the war. It has been COVID. It has been the economical, economical situation currently that every almost every country is feeling, and it's getting worse. That, you know, you start thinking about where is this all going to end? And sure, we... Like, I mean, we're, we don't have a massive problem yet. You know, we're still in a safe country. There's no war. There is no threat. And we are still able to pay our bills and have like heating and warm was water and stuff like that. But you, you still ask yourself, okay, if you look at the Ukraine and all that shit that's going down there, there, there's this question you ask yourself, okay, where is that all going to end? How far is it going to go? And is there going to be a time where it goes up again? Yeah, I mean, I think right now more so about the U.S. and the the gun violence Same issue. thing, same thing. That's the thing that gets to... Abortion I mean, law. Currently, yeah. I have so <laughs> minimal faith in... Um, the goodness of it, not of not of the people, but of the in, let's say the intentions of the people in charge, because and the whole system of democracy in general. Like mm -hmm. I've lost all hope and all faith in it mm -hmm. completely, just based on the last I don't know couple of months really with the abortion laws that mm -hmm. keep coming through and then you know in school certain schools they're trying to say that kids can't even say the word gay mm -hmm. and and now with even more gun violence and more and more thoughts and prayers and no action mm -hmm. i'm so done where i don't know i have no i have no faith anymore that democracy even works i mean it doesn't work <laughs> That, that again, that comes all down to, okay, we, we can do our part. We can go vote. We can try to actively change people around us. And But and that's the thing. It's not about the people anymore. No, At least in the U.S., the people have no say. 
Ninety percent of I people agree. want agree. want background checks on on before you can buy a gun. I agree. I agree. But there's literally like two people sitting in the Senate who are yeah. like, Meh. yeah, and they have all the power. Yeah, I mean that's that that example is a, a more much deeper and much more systemic problem because the whole political system was built around that to keep certain people in power and to keep the GOP um, in every decision. So even there might be a, a democratic president or, or Senate, ultimately nothing can change nope. or only to a certain degree. Well, I but, mean, also, if you think about this is the last thing I'll say about it. But the other thing you think about is, you know, there there are like two. What is it? Is it Senate members or two representatives or something for every single state? It doesn't matter how big or no. how small the state is. It's just no. like you get two and it's so unfair. And it just I don't know. I don't know how that tiny amount of people that small amount yeah. can decide so much yeah. for i mean that's why i don't know i've just lost i've lost that, faith in all let's go it. back to the main theme so my question is how can you someone while looking at the state of the world and all that stuff that's going down gain back trust in humanity and the good knowing that there are or the majority of people are good and no no want the good in the mm. world i mean i have that i See, do believe the that the majority lately, of people are good i mean i i have that too but lately i'm losing faith in everything because <laughs> oh boy <laughs> that was klaus um let's take a quick break that was a good klaus was like let's take a break <laughs> okay Hello and welcome to Clean Your Fucking House, Bitch, with Nancy, Kevin, and Lou. In our program, we get real about the challenges of life and living. Your mind is the most powerful tool you have to ensure you are on your desired path for success and satisfaction. Yet, from the day you are born, you gradually and subconsciously fill it with tons of useless shit that gets in your way. Why is that? How can you clean that mess up? We'll show you how. Get ready to clean your fucking house. And we So, um, coming back. So, <laughs> Cosy. Uh, the. Uh, you know, <laughs> if you look at history, if you look at like early 1900s, uh, 1900s, 1900s, uh, and like the start of World War One and then World War Two, there was a pattern. There was. Uh, I mean, there's always a pattern. History always repeats itself. Right. That's just what I wanted to say. I thought there is this economic growth and people are wealthy and people think like oh you know it's going to be like this all the time and we can get more wealthy all the time and if you look at the top rich people for them it might be true but for the most most people it's not true and let's be honest something as uh constant growth of economy and wealth is not sustainable because how would it be possible that everybody gets richer and has more and can have more but at the same time the resources on the planet are limited mm -hmm. we can't just you know make magically uh, appear more trees or whatever you know they have to grow so they have to take time to rebuild themselves until we can harvest them and use the wood to you know rebuild a house or whatever so coming down to the point i want to make <laughs> <laughs> so 
so looking back at history, there was always a crash. So people got more wealthy, 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 and people wanted more and more and more. And then all of a sudden, the crash came and a lot of people lost a lot of things. And there was war, there was greed, there was a lot of uh, terrible things. And then with war, unfortunately, a lot of things get destroyed and society or certain countries have to rebuild and start from scratch, essentially. And I mean, that's what's happening right now in the Ukraine, basically. But also in almost all Western countries where everything is getting more expensive and we see shortage of almost like everything, wood is getting more expensive, certain products because of a lot of factors and that's again the question okay where is this going all end and then you know you can't get up in the morning with this feeling of oh what's the point because it's going to end in shit all the time so mm-hmm. you have to otherwise you wouldn't get up let's be honest you ha- so you have to have some hope some trust in the the system and in humanity that we as a society, and I mean everybody when I say society, come together and solve those problems and maybe finally build a society that is more sustainable and fair where what's the point? Yeah, but doesn't that seem like a pipe dream? (laughs) Totally, but but that's exactly my point. I think... (laughs) I think it's like things that, that Miss America, like at those pageants that they say, you I, know, like world is, peace and coming together and doing this, which, yeah, it's great. That's like the, that's the ideal. That's the dream. But how is that attainable? But I know I, I <laughs> For totally me, I, agree. I try I to totally look agree. at it more as like, I do have a lot of faith in humanity. I have a lot of faith in not at all of humanity, but a good chunk of humanity Um, I have a lot of faith in the younger generations who unfortunately have to deal with a lot of this shit. Um, But I, I try to look, look at it more from a perspective of like, what can I do and do my best to be part of the solution and not part of the problem and I, because what agree. else can you I do totally agree. you totally can't agree. you can't force people to change their opinions about something you can't force people to do or act a certain way you you can only do what you can do what's within your own power and some people have more power more more uh i don't know they more reach mm. with with how they can influence people but as yeah just who i am with the no power that i have <laughs> no, I, that's bullshit that's bullshit we have a power we changed a lot of people's mind already in yeah, terms but that's of what food, i don't mean of, it that way i don't mean it that way i just mean it. i don't have power like i've in terms of my job in terms of my my sure, standing but, in society but you have a power in terms of how you live your life and how you yeah sure but that's not what um, i meant I know, I know. But that's exactly what I'm saying. I'm, I'm saying exactly that, that with the power that I do have, mm-hmm. I do the things that I can do, the things mm-hmm. that are in but that's my control. Power. That's not nothing. I did say it was nothing. Yeah. <laughs> I said, I don't have a, like, I don't have power in terms of over anything really other than myself. Like, I, And if that happens to influence people, great, but... Again, going back to the pipe dream, <laughs> um, we all know it. And if you uh, talk to experts, if you listen to experts, the way we live right now is not sustainable and the way we um, distribute things is not fair to a lot of uh, poorer countries because we basically go to this, to those countries the stuff we want for cheap because the labor is very cheap there and then uh, just take it and destroy the whole thing look at china look at africa 
That's what we have been doing for for centuries now. And if you look at how people still build homes, how s- people still live in certain countries, in the Western countries, and then compare it to like uh, poorer countries like Mexico or Africa, um, uh, some countries in like East uh, Europe and stuff, where they have almost nothing but still live uh, partly, not everywhere, uh, a decent life, so mm-hmm. to say. Then you think like, okay, how is it fair that we as a Western country, only because we have luck and the p- the power and the money to basically uh, rob the poor countries of their resources, to take them all and to use them. Um, and at some point, if we want to l- solve the, the, the climate crisis problem, we have to tackle that. Because that's a ma- massive factor of it. And I still have the hope that at some point that will start. Because people gain conscious about that stuff. And people know more about that stuff. And then again, there are people who, like us, or other influencers who have way more reach, talk mm-hmm. about that stuff and say, hey, how is it fair that we live in a house that is built to last 200, 300 years but we rip it down after 30 years because we feel like, oh, it doesn't, you know, um, it's not built like... It doesn't after- serve me properly. Right. Or I want this room a little bigger or the technology is outdated, you know, stuff like that. Mm-hmm. And then you look at countries where they literally live in shacks or like cardboard houses. Where if we would distribute wealth and the resources accordingly and fairly, everybody could have a nice home and a home that is enough and big mm-hmm. enough. You know, if you look at like, I'm not, I'm not trying to sound like um, jealous or like greedy or whatever, but if you, how, why does one person or two people need a palace? with I don't know how many acres and mm. I don't know how many bathrooms and wh- how. Nobody needs that. Yeah. Nobody but fucking we're, needs You've that. gone so off topic though. Like I I, I, I I honestly don't even know what this topic is anymore. <laughs> no. I mean, it's an interesting discussion. I agree. I but agree. the topic is, I, I don't even I know what we're talking about. <laughs> okay. Let's, I am just want to just quickly say that. So lately I have lost trust, trust in myself, trust in my abilities, trust in life and also trust in people where if you look at war, how can this still be happening in this day and age where people are so informed and people know that war is the stupid, the most stupidest thing that you can do to an economy, to people, to a country, not only the country you attack, but also your own country. Mm Mm-hmm. All that stuff. And then with COVID and everything else that is happening where, you know, people should come together after a crisis like this. But people are not. And it's so hard for me to then say, hey, okay, uh, maybe, you know, it's just some people. And sure, if you look at the newspaper, you only read certain things. But then it, trickles down to my things like yeah, but then there are other people who don't read anything they don't keep up with any news at all because they say they can't because it's too much which i yeah, get yeah. but at the same time then you're so uninformed and you're so blind to what's yeah, going yeah, on yeah. around you also you yeah yeah and that contributes to the problem if you're Agree. if you Agree. refuse you're to look at anything yeah. yeah 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 you ignore it and that's you're, ignoring a problem doesn't make it go away yeah. you're contributing to the problem because you're not yeah. being even part partly i don't know you're not even being part of any type of solution the thing is i think for me it's i have to regain trust in myself first before i can trust in put my trust into things that are not so much in my reach or in my um um what is it in my ability to change Mm -hmm. because if i don't trust in myself and in my abilities first 
how would I be able to trust into something bigger, you know? Yeah. And But it's fucking hard, you know? I've started my business basically right before the pandemic started, a year, right? A year, no, three years now. Two, yeah, a year before the pandemic mm -hmm. started. So after a year of my business, the pandemic started and it went fairly well, but, you know, you feel like, okay, maybe it could have gone better or different if the pandemic wasn't happening. And then there's a lot of downtime. And especially now with building, you, you know, you spend a lot of money. And now with the economy, you're like, oh, fuck, I need to make more money to be able mm -hmm. to spend more money. And then you have downtime and then you start thinking about, okay, shit, maybe I'm not made to do that maybe i'm not good enough to even be able to sustain that or build a business that is sustainable and mm. steady in some income mm -hmm. you know and that's something i'm struggling with right now because because of the econ economic e economy i'm having a hard time with words today that's okay <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I know it's a it's the it's a tangent. Um but yeah, I don't know. The thing is it's hard because if you think at relationship and trust in relationship, there are a lot of factors you can do to, you know, rebuild that. But with something that is with it yourself, it's a little harder because how do you start there, you know? I sure I could I don't think it's much different. The relationship with somebody else is no different than a relationship with yourself. Yeah, but it it might be harder in a relationship with somebody with else myself. because you have to blindly trust this person who everything is out of your control. Everything that I do is out of your control and everything that you do is out of my control, but we trust that the other person doesn't do anything to hurt the other one. But sure. when it's just you, sure. you can only you decide what you do. You control. There are things that are out of your control, but that's nothing to do with you because I, it's not under I, your control. I agree, I agree. But I, I mean, what should I do? Should I just stand in front of the mirror and say, "Hey, it's going to be all okay"? No, but you can have a mantra. I have a mantra right now. Yeah. Because I have things with myself that I'm trying to trust that are not easy for me to trust. Um, but I've had to I've had to put a lot of stuff aside and put a lot of worry and a lot of doubt aside. And I created a mantra for myself that I tell myself once a day. And it has significantly helped my outlook on things and it has significantly helped me feeling like I have the ability to do things that my body might be telling me otherwise. Mm -hmm. I mean, again, the thing is, if I would have no trust at all, I would have no reason to get up other than maybe I have to work. But so there is trust there and I know that and then I mean and I ha you have a wife <laughs> what do you mean that's no reason to get up nah that's not what I'm saying it was just metaphorical but and I do have a mantra not like a yeah but do you say something one. to yourself every day that's I mean, positive like do you yeah. say out loud yeah yeah I do out I do. loud I do I do not something but just put it out there in the universe then. Maybe change your mantra. Maybe every day you should say something out loud that says, uh, I, uh, my business is capable. I am capable of running this business. It will pick up again. Just yeah. because it's slow right now doesn't mean it's going to be like that forever. I have, I, I have the ability to, to put out great work that people want. Let's see, that's that the people next are thing interested I in. That's the next thing I'm questioning. Do I? You do. <laughs> yeah, you're that's an nice. artist. That's Every artist is like that. You're your own worst critic. <sighs> but you have to tell yourself that you have that ability. You have to tell yourself that 
people love the stuff that you do because they do. You don't have to be convinced of that, but you have to tell yourself that because the more you tell yourself that, the more you're going to solidify it in your brain. Nah, sure. Because quite sure. honestly, the, with the thinking that you have right now, even if you're not saying those negative thoughts out loud, you're thinking them enough that it's getting deep, deep down inside of you. The thing is, ultimately, I don't care. Like, sure, I like positive response on things that I do. It's not about positive response. It's just about bringing in business. People wouldn't work with you if they didn't like your work. Yeah. Yeah. Not that, everybody you work with is going to be like, wow, this is amazing. You're amazing. Agree, this is agree, great. I agree. But that's again, that I, they're going to be satisfied I, with the product. That right, should be enough. Right. That, that, that's my main goal, obviously. And I don't care about praise and I don't really care about that stuff where people are like, you know, crazy about shit or whatever. Um, I'm happy if I get that, but I don't care about it ultimately. But if I, the problem is if things are slow and things are not like, you know, the thing is I'm complaining about something that is not even worth complaining because I still have work and make money. So it's not like, you know, but in my head it's like, oh, you know, and then, oh, yeah, I don't, you don't have anything to do. You're just sitting around doing nothing or but I think you tend to take it more as a personal hit on your right. ability right. versus what it actually and is. And then it goes into that. Right. Yeah, but then, think about what it actually is then. It has nothing to do with your ability. It has more to do with the fact that people don't want to spend money on the kinds of things that you offer right now because they can't because of inflation, because of all of these things that we've talked about in this podcast already, yeah. where it's not so easy for people to put out that money and it takes a hit on the type of work that you do that the people like you are going to take a hit and but I, <laughs> it will get better and yeah. also like you said yeah. it's not like you have no work yeah. and also there will always be work to find and sometimes you are gonna have spouts of time where you need to look yourself more you need to be a little I mean, not saying that you're not actively looking for anything new, but you need to be aggressive about it. Mm. Because if you're not, the stuff's not going to come and it's nothing to do with your ability to do things and mm. your talent. It's just about people aren't actively looking for things like that right now. I mean, do they do? They do. Not sure they do, but with the amount of people that <laughs> that do, do what yeah. you do. Yeah, yeah. I agree. I agree. I agree. The the odds of them finding you versus finding Joe Schmo. Oh yeah, Joe Schmo, that's <laughs> son of a bitch. <laughs> but I think what you need to work on is not chalking it up to your ability or lack of ability. Because that's not the case. It has nothing to do with that. Yeah. No, I, and everything you've done, you always get good feedback. Yeah. So it's not about, and you're gonna you're gonna drive yourself crazy as an artist if you continue to question if it's your ability or not. The thing is, I usually don't do that, but lately, yes, you do. Well, that's not true. <laughs> My friend, as long as I have have known you as an artist, you have been doing that. Yeah, because I tend to compare myself, and also <laughs> everybody does. The Every thing is, if you does that. the thing is, ultimately it comes down to, you know, I I'm not creating things to. When I put something out there, obviously I want people to see it. Sure. And if I feel like okay, nobody sees it, then I, sure, I question myself and say, okay, is it me? When I maybe should ask the question, was it the right platform? Was Algorithms. it the algorithm? Was it the wrong timing? Stuff like that, you know? Yeah. <sighs> and then obviously imposter syndrome as... and also comparison. Like if I compare myself to others all the yeah, but time. But you can't do that. That's I like know. Picasso comparing himself to Van Gogh. They're completely different. Yeah, Picasso. They're both shit. artists, but they're completely different. Don't you ever say that again. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You can't. Uh, that was One artist cannot compare themselves to another artist, even if they do the same type of work, the same yeah, medium, the same. You can't compare yourself. I agree. Because it makes no sense to. Oh, man, we went from 
trust to what was the middle part i don't know we've talked about a lot of things <laughs> <laughs> what's the title of that episode talking about shit ranting i don't know now uh, maybe just one more thing and then you can say one more thing i think it's important to trust into the good things and if you feel like you don't trust into the good things you maybe should step away from the neg negativity or from the things that show you the negative side of the world for a bit at least mm. take your own advice right <laughs> and no i'm saying that to you no no no, no. I, <laughs> i know and focus on the good even though sometimes it might be hard because i think focusing on the good brings back the trust yeah something else you want to add not really i no not really <laughs> yeah <laughs> thanks for this listening this feels like a depressing ending i don't know no it's not it's not i believe that everything will be good at the end and if it's not good That's it's not, not the, end. the end right you used to say that to me yeah And I believe that. I believe that firmly. And and you know what? It's okay to allow yourself to have a little bit of an ego because you should. You should feel good about yourself. You should be confident in yourself and your abilities and your uh, everything about yourself. Mm. And this comparison shit is so toxic. It is. And it is. It just destroys all happiness and confidence and joy in your life. So fuck it. Just yeah. be happy with the person you are, where you are. And if you're not, find a way to be. And it doesn't have to be some hard, crazy way to get there. It can be, I'm going to start going to therapy. Or it can just be, I'm going to stop like you said, take a break from some things mm -hmm. that make me feel negative right now. Mm -hmm. You know, it's It's yeah. important to be confident in yourself and to trust that you, I, I don't know, trust that things are going to turn out how they're mm -hmm. supposed to. Yeah. yeah. Let's end with that. That was a good ending. Thanks for listening, everybody. We appreciate you. We please do. subscribe and please share the podcast if you can. And if you like what you hear, Please tell your friends. And if you want to ask a question or just talk with us, hit us up on uh, Instagram mm -hmm. or website, email, whatever you want to do. Uh, and I will just quickly add, if you want to help right now in the U.S. with anything going on because of the uh, school shooting in Texas, um, Every Town is a really great organization that is working really, really hard to enforce stricter gun laws. Um, we'll put the link down and we'll we'll link it yeah so you can donate to them everything helps um and definitely go check out i think they're everytown.org so go check them yeah. out we'll put it down in the description um yeah that's, that's it. it watch have out a, for deer watch out for deer and have a great rest of the day evening night morning whatever it is <laughs>